Yo. Hello everyone, I hope everything is well on your side of the internet. I wanted to share with you guys my favourites for this month of October and I've got a lot of various knickknacks, mainly beauty stuff. I've been buying a lot which is really bad but I guess the good thing is that I have some stuff to show you guys and you know I want to share what's good, what I've been really loving and there might be some kind of miscellaneous stuff um, at the end of the video. So, this is going really off topic but I've been wanting to film my favourites for ages. Every month I set up my camera to try and film it and something goes wrong and it really drives me nuts. Today I've been trying to film all day but I updated my computer to Mac the system Sierra and now the Canon utility doesn't work. If anyone knows how to fix this please tell me because I've looked everywhere online and so far it just says that it's not working which is stupid because how can a company like Canon have a product that doesn't even have a um, you know running software compatible with you know the latest technology it just doesn't make any sense anyways that is totally off tangent but yeah I'm really not used to looking at the viewfinder because I'm used to looking at my computer screen so this might be like a weird video we'll see how it goes but let's get started First thing I want to talk about is my favourite concealer for this month and I've been using it for about two weeks. It's called the Naked Skin Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer by Urban Decay and it looks like this. It looks like a little lip gloss tube and I really want to try the Tarte Shape Tape and I've been looking around for a really full coverage concealer and I just haven't found it. They haven't started selling the Shape Tape in Australia yet so I decided to pick this up from Mecca and I've been really loving it. So I'm in the shade Light Neutral and I have it under my eyes today. It is a full, full coverage concealer so it cancels out any sort of darkness in my eyes and it just makes my eyes look so bright. I really love it because it's really creamy. My previous concealer, which I've been using for like two years, which is the Maybelline Age Rewind, is really good as well, but I find that it doesn't have as much coverage as this one. I really love this because it's easy to blend. It comes in heaps of colours and yeah, it's full, full coverage, so it's great. I think that it has some pretty good wear. It's not unbelievable. It's good. And I also think that it does kind of cake a little bit, so you've got to be careful about how much you're applying. Um, it's buildable, so apply a thin layer, which is what I try to do, but you know, sometimes when you're rushing, you get carried away, you just put like a thick layer on and it gets really cakey. So I've tried it today around my kind of nose here, which I have like a bit of a dark spot there, but it does kind of bring out the textures, especially in my upper lip. Um, I don't think it's the best for that. It's really good as an under eye concealer. Um, so that's the first thing that I've been really loving this month. Second thing I want to talk about is the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 hour full coverage foundation and I've been looking for an everyday foundation because I usually just use tinted moisturizer. I actually don't use foundation every day. I find that it's very thick so I go in a bit of like periods where I like the full coverage, where I don't like it and for the last year I've probably just been using tinted moisturizer but then recently I've been breaking out heaps under here so I decided I needed something with more coverage. Um, so I got this and at first I actually really hated it. It didn't blend well and I'm used to using a beauty blender to apply my foundation. It doesn't work at all. This is a very moussey type texture for a foundation but it's great. I think that it just leaves a nice finish. It's not full full coverage to the point where I would wear it as event makeup but it's also really good coverage for my acne and I find that it's one of the few face products I've used that doesn't break me out. It almost kind of calms down my inflamed areas. I don't know if this makes any sense but I think it has to do with the clay because clay does dry out impurities so it does have that kind of skin skin care and nurturing element towards it. So summing up what I really love about this product is that it has great coverage, it is not clogging to my pores and it has a really nice soft finish that isn't too matte and it isn't too drying. I also think that it's very good for blending and it also is buildable. So yeah, that's a really good foundation to try if you have oily skin or acne skin. It's actually very different and I've never had a foundation that I feel kind of calms down my breakouts. Like most foundations, I try to put it on and then it does clog your pores. Foundation or anything that goes on your skin will clog your pores. So yeah, that's been a really interesting experience this month. I've learned to like it even though I didn't like it at first. So that's the Tarte Foundation. 
Next thing I'm going to talk about is another Tarte product and it is the Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush in the color Sensual. And I really love these blushes because they're in a magnetic pan. You can pop them out and make your own Z palette if you wanted to. I'm interested in doing that because I'm kind of building my Tarte collection and I'm gathering quite a few blushes and I feel like it will save a lot of space if I pop them out and deep pan them. And I like that that's a really easy option. So the reason I chose this blush as my favorite for the month is that it is a very interesting kind of neutral, warm toned brown color. And I love this because it functions as kind of a bronzer slash contour for pale skin tones. But it also does add that kind of nice flushed look, that kind of sun-kissed look. I'm quite pale and most contouring just doesn't work on me. It looks like dirt or it comes out really dramatic. Even like the light skin tone contours that I really love. Go to contouring color is the Sleek Face Form Contouring and Blush Palette in Light, which is this shade here. And I find that that gives me quite a dramatic contour. So if I'm looking for something really light, really kind of just dimensional and fresh looking, I like to use this as a contour. And what's good about it is that you can bring it up towards here and blend it in with a different kind of color blush. And it really gives you this kind of flawless, fresh look. So that's the color Sensual by Tarte. And it's just a really unique blush color. It's not really a blush, which is what I like about it. But this one is something that I find that um, I'm reaching to more and more coming towards the summer months where you just want kind of like a fresh face look. And yeah, that's another favorite of mine. And we'll move on to the next one now. Okay, so the next product is something that I've been really loving and I've been using it almost every single day. And that is the Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer. And this is a smoothing primer. And I actually heard about this from Manny MUA. He recommends this and he says he loves it. I'm pretty sure it's the same one. I don't know. I just clicked on it and got it as for a really impulse purchase. I've never really been a huge fan of primers. And I feel like because the last few months I was moving into a phase where I didn't really like a lot of makeup. Like I said before, I was breaking out heaps. And I feel like anything I put on my face just made the breakouts worse. Like it really clogged my pores. Overall, I've never really thought of priming as a step that I needed in my routine but after trying this I feel like my life has changed because it makes my makeup so flawless. So Manny was raving about this product and I was like damn I should just try it because I have a lot of breakouts and something that I don't like is that when I cleanse my skin it creates all these dry patches and just it just makes my makeup look so cakey and uneven. I feel like it irritates my pores even more but applying this as kind of a barrier to the skin for the foundation actually helps my breakouts so much. I had so much around here. I don't know, like, if you see me in person, you'd see that I had, like, so much acne, all this cystic acne all the way down here as well. And I still have, like, a remainder of it, but I feel like it's clearing up so much with what the changes I've been making in my makeup. And I've actually been wearing thicker makeup, but I think that using this primer has changed the way my makeup goes on because it creates that barrier, like I said, and it really minimizes the chance of my pores getting really clogged by foundation and oils. I've been using it every day. The only thing that I don't like is that it's really expensive. I think it's almost 60 bucks and it's about 30 mils. So it's almost equivalent to the price of a high-end foundation. So you got to use this sparingly, but yeah, it's kind of too expensive. I don't know. I might look for something else, but it's been working so well. So you know when you have that feeling and you're really conflicted yeah that's me still made it into my favorites though because it's amazing so we're almost done with my beauty favorites the sun setting so we got to bam these out really quick because i'm gonna look really dark and everything's gonna look really dark soon so the next three things i'm gonna talk about are these ColourPop um super shock shadows these are cream shadows in individual pots and this is from their Zingara collection. The reason I'm not talking about it as a whole and just these three is because I like these three and it's a quad. So I don't feel like it's worth it talking about the other one. You can just get the three singles. Colourpop is currently doing a free international shipping promotion. So you can get free shipping if you spend over 50 bucks, which is really easy. You just keep adding all this random stuff into your cart like I did. But yeah, they're running that till the end of the year. I might pick up some more stuff if I'm not broke, but currently I am. So long story short, I picked these up when they first ran that free shipping offer and I 100% recommend the Zingara quad because it's um, got three of these and obviously another one which is all right but it's not my favorite so the first one I'm going to show you is this elixir color and it's this kind of 
um, burnt sienna orange in the pot but when you put it on it's just this really gorgeous vibrant orange and I've been loving using these cream shadows as a base for my makeup and then using like for example the modern renaissance palette on top of it and it really just pops and brings out my eyes so much I find these colors go on so beautiful and of course they're kind of designed as a fall product because in the United States they're moving into fall but I still think that like these oranges and pinks are so beautiful and it works perfect for springtime. The second color is the um, color paradox. So it's kind of a gentry red but when you put it on it looks gorgeous. It looks exactly like a color from the modern renaissance palette called um, Love Letter and it's this one here. It's showing a lot more orange in on camera than it is in person but that's a beautiful color and then the next one I want to show you is um, the color seeker and it's kind of like this taupey purple red it comes off really brown but what I love about these shadows is that they're really dimensional and they really look different depending on how you apply them so I just usually pat these on with my finger and bing bang bam it's done I just find them so easy they make a perfect base you can use them alone they stay on forever and I feel like it's just such an easy product that I've never really explored cream shadows and I'm really loving these these are super affordable as well I mean you really can't go wrong I'm probably gonna buy like 20 more of them if I get a chance I really want to try the other colors but so far I'm finding that these vibrant colors in the cream shadows just pop so much and they make your eye makeup just look so much more vibrant and just overall really beautiful my second last beauty favorites is a Zoeva brush and I thought I'd just give this an honorable mention because I didn't use it much when I bought the set but I've been finding new ways to use it and I've been really loving it it is the 325 Lux Brow Light. It's a very wide and flat brush and I didn't really use this at first because I feel like I've just got so many similar brushes and I don't know, just I didn't use it a lot but I've been using it a lot lately and what I like to do is just get it under my brow and pop that highlight in there. I can put a like um, light shade as well and just push it down and it actually just blends out my eyeshadow to perfection. Um, nothing else to say about this but I feel like it's just something I wanted to mention because I haven't been using it and I didn't really like it at first but I'm really loving it and I've been using it for every eye look I've been doing this month so it's that one there it's the 325 Lux Brow Light so it feels like I've been talking forever but this is the last beauty favorites I want to talk about and this is the Meet Matrimony palette by The Balm I actually only got this in today but I can already tell I'm gonna freaking love it for the rest of my life so I thought I'd just pop it into this video as well and it is a new palette by The Balm I tried to find this in David Jones every time I go to David Jones it's not there so I decided damn it I really want it so I just ordered it off Adore Beauty and you get 10% off your first purchase so it's pretty good value I would recommend you not to get this anywhere else because David Jones is probably the cheapest retailer you can get the balm at in Australia and if you buy it on Sephora Australia it's literally double the price which I don't know why. Anyways, let's cut to the point. These are amazing eyeshadows. I saw this palette and I liked it and I haven't tried any of the balm's eyeshadows but I love this girl on YouTube called Emily Noel 83 and she really loves this palette. I trust her reviews. I just love everything she talks about so you know, once you start talking about this palette, I thought, damn it, I have to get it. And it is just a beautiful palette with nine matte shades. They are really gorgeous, and I think they're supposed to be designed for kind of bridal looks. I don't really have a palette that just has all mattes in it. I'm not like a huge matte fan, shimmery fan. I don't mind either or all. I feel like it's more about the colors and the pigmentation, but... Damn, where has this palette been all my life? So, like I mentioned, I only got this today, this morning. But the reason I love this palette so much, the reason that I think that it will be my favourites, like, forever, and I really, really will use it, is because it just has the right colours that fill out, like, all the eyeshadows I have. I feel like these colours really fill in the gaps of what I need for an eye look. I know that sounds really weird, but... I have a lot of mid-tone shadows, a lot of light shadows, but I don't have a lot of these dark shadows that really create that depth in my eye and I think that's really important because I have hooded eyelids. Um, you really need like a variety of colours to create like a tonal shade within a really small space. So I first opened this palette this morning and I love it, you know, if you look at it online you can see it's really cute, it's designed to meet matte, which is like my bae, but anyways, it's got like names of each matte in there and it has just really just amazing colors like I don't even need to talk about it because you can see it right here you can look at it on Google but um, I swatched it with my fingers and I was like thinking damn these are not great 
I was just, I was seriously thinking, wow, like, Emily, please, I love you and I trust all your reviews and I, I couldn't believe she'd be wrong about this. But what was amazing was when I tried using it with a brush, the colour showed up more than a finger swatch. So that is amazing. It's never happened in my entire life and I'm talking really quickly, but, like, all the eyeshadows I've ever had, like, finger swatches look amazing. And, you know, people on YouTube, they always do finger swatches because it looks really great and I think it just, sometimes it can be deceiving how you apply it because you obviously don't apply these eyeshadows with your finger. So, yeah, when I saw that these actually apply better with a brush than your finger, I was just so blown away. It's just so... I just had no words. And, yeah, I just think that this is an amazing palette for anyone. Like, everyone can use these colours. I just don't even know how to... Like, I realise I don't even have a really good matte black. And this one is amazing. I'm wearing this on my, like, upper eyelid today. So I'm using the colour Matte Lopez as kind of a base shade and a transition shade. I'm using Matte Thomas as the highlight in my inner eye, Matte Lynn as like the brow highlight and mixing Matte Kuma and Matte Reed as the shader shades. And I love it so much. Like I just think it really suits my skin tone and it suits everyone's skin tone. And um, I feel like I've just been rambling about this palette because I love it so much. But Another really good thing about it is that it's only $42 and you get 25 grams of product. And I don't know if you've looked at any of your other palettes, any girls out there that have a lot of palettes. You hardly come across any palettes that have 20 grams and that are like under 70 bucks. So $42 and you get 21 grams. I think that this is literally like the best eyeshadow buy I've had in months. I don't know. I don't know what else I can say. I just really love these eyeshadows. Like they don't look like anything that will really like be amazing in the pan but once you like look at your whole collection and just how these colors come together with every other color you've ever got I think that is just such a diverse palette that I had to put it in my favorites even though I've only used it and experienced it for one day and yeah if I'm wrong about it I'll let you know but I don't think I will be so there's that to get through all of these I feel like I've just been talking so quickly and it's just Oh, anyways, the next favourite I have is a skincare favourite. It is the Cetaphil Derma Control SPF 30 Oil-Free Facial Moisturising Lotion. This is a long-ass name, formulated for acne-prone skin, broad spectrum, blah, 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 blah. It looks like this. It's a moisturiser that's in a little pump. So we're moving into the summer months down under, and it's incredibly important to put the sunscreen on to protect yourself, and especially your face. If you wear a lot of makeup, you probably exfoliate your face a lot more than the rest of your skin. So the layers on your face of <laughs> the layers of skin on your face are a lot more sensitive. So you have to be really careful and really protect your skin. Um, I've been looking for a new moisturizer. I've just been trying a few things. I think because I've been changing my skincare routine up so much, it's not helping the breakouts. But I feel like. Okay, I'm in a good system right now, so I'm going to talk about that system, which was the stuff I mentioned before with the primer, the foundation, and now it's this moisturizer. I feel like this is a really good product. Everyone swears by the Cetaphil Skin Cleanser. Um, I feel like that's an okay product. It doesn't do amazing things for me, and I've tried the previous moisturizers, and I don't like them. This one, on the other hand, I'm glad I gave Cetaphil another go, because this is amazing, and it really does help your acne it doesn't dry your skin but it doesn't keep your skin oily like I know a lot of moisturizers for acne skin they kind of leave like a weird filmy residue and this one doesn't it just goes in and it's just a great everyday lotion it's not a rich rich cream based moisturizer it's just a good everyday lotion if you're needing you know mild to medium moisturization but I thought I'd pop it in because I've been using it a lot and I actually really loved it those were my beauty favorites for the month of October I thought I'd give a random shout out to like a really random product but if you guys follow me on Instagram you know I've been doing Inktober I've been drawing heaps this month and I want to give shout out to Canson because they make amazing marker illustration paper so the product I've been using on almost all my illustrations this month has been the marker illustration premium marker paper it's the note notepad in A4 and it's got 20 sheets I really love this I've been using the Express It Blend It card for a while but this is actually a cheaper alternative which I find does exactly the same thing the only thing that is different from the express it is that um canson has one smooth side and the other side has like textures so you just got to be careful that you're not using the wrong side because it does show a lot in the picture that's just a really random favorite that i've been loving inktober has been a crazy experience for me and i've really loved it because it stimulated my creativity and i wanted to shout out canson because they make good paper and i've been using it a lot so there's that 
So another non-beauty favourites that I want to give a really, really quick shout out to is my favourite movie of this month. It, ha it wasn't released this month, but it was something that I watched this month and I want to talk about. It's a movie called Dope, and I believe that it was released last year. It's directed by Rick Fumiwaya. Fami... Fami... Okay, it was directed, it was directed by Rick... Famu Yiwa, I had to look down to see how to say that because I got to so tongue twisted just then. And it has a lot of new talent. It's a, described as a crime film or drama film, but I don't think it necessarily is that. It has elements of that. It does the whole 90s nostalgia thing really well, and it's akin to kind of stuff like um, Super Bad, but not as crude. It has a lot more of a um, style to it. I don't really know how to talk about this film, it's just about these three kids who. Um, are kind of nerds but they live in the ghetto and they have this life-changing experience where you know stuff just happens and they have to find a way to make it out but I really love the film and I love the style and I love the little kids in the acting they were all really great and yeah check it out it's called Dope D-O-P-E and it's very Americanized but very interesting look into the American culture especially something that's really relevant and it's just something that's really relevant and I think that it does um, to pick the kind of teen life or today's modern society really well without the whole excessive cliches or coming from like an angle where they don't really know it, they're just doing it for TV. So yeah, I really love this film and I hope you guys check it out. If you're interested, it's called Dope D-O-P-E. That's all I have for this month. Hopefully I can make some more videos, but you don't know, I don't know, because Canon is really screwing up lately and I really regret getting a Canon camera. but. That's that. If you like this video, subscribe. If you have any questions, please comment down below and I'll get back to you. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!